Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Okay, this video will demonstrate how to uh, operate the visual fault locator in an OWLTREK OTDR. Now, once you have the OWLTREK OTDR powered on, um, you need to locate the, um, the menu button on the screen here. Now, since I have this in landscape mode, the, the menu buttons are labeled on the right hand side here. Uh, you press this enter key here to change the menu. As you can see there's a menu button here now. So we press this menu button to get to the setup menu and the next thing we do is we select the operations menu. Now at the bottom here you can say the left arrow key here is back, the right is select. So we're going to select this operations menu option once we get to the operations menu, we will scroll down until we get to the configure options uh, option there. And then we again select. As you can see, there are a couple different options here. Um, one, of, one of which is visual fault locator. Now you will need to select the visual fault locator by pressing the down arrow to highlight. And at this point it is off. Now uh, there are two states that the visual fault locator could be in. They could either be on or flashing and using this arrow key here toggles between these different options. So there's on, blink, and then off. And I will demonstrate those here. Um, I'll take the dust cap off of the visual fall locator here, and then we will uh, set it to on. As you can see, it's on. And if I set it to blink, you'll see that the visual fall locator is blinking. And then I can turn it off. Uh, by pressing the button again. And then when you're done uh, setting the, the VFL state, you press enter, this enter key again, right here, and you press it to exit, and then you can hit the, the left arrow key just to back out of the menu system and go back to the uh, tray screen. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos, or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.